you can use a traditional PDF style resource that instead of printing it out, you can use it digitally for students to interact with it. So what I've done here, and I'll show you this in a second, is I have taken a resource from the Flex Curriculum platform and I've downloaded it and I've set it as the background image in this Google Slides. This can be done similar in a similar way um, in PowerPoint or Keynote, any of those slides, presentations type of platforms. So what I've done, this could be a handout that students would fill in and they would make the colors themselves, but it can take a significant amount of time. And you can see here that maybe I just want to see if students understand how, what a value scale is. So instead of having them um, coloring and create a value scale, the option here is to create it interactive and you can push out a copy of these slides to your students using a learning management system. And then from here, um, you can see I have instructions here that say arrange the color values from darkest to lightest. So then they can take these colors that I've, these shapes that I've already created and go in and they can start creating their own value scale and trying to arrange it by color. Um, and then because it is in a Google slide, you'll be able to give them immediate feedback and um, talk about any areas that they might have um, made a mistake. So in order to do this, what you'll do, I'll show you on a new slide, you will simply right click on the background of the slide and you're gonna change the background. And what you can do then is choose your image, um, find the image that you would like to use. You'll have to have either a screenshot of something um, or a JPEG or a PNG file in order to do this. So then that file will just, I can just press done and it will fit in here just like the background. So the reason why you'd want to do this is if students are dragging and dropping things, notice that they can't move the background. They can only move the pieces that you've put in. So this is a really good way to modify learning for students. Um, it can be um, a way to differentiate for your younger students depending on what their, their need is. For your older students, you could even have them create their own shapes and value scale this way.